Hey, what's going on? I'm Ben Kaiser, and welcome to another episode of jobsinthefuture.com. And today we're going to talk about, is data analytics right for you? Or better yet said, is data analytics right for me? Stay tuned, and we're going to fill you in on all the details. So in this article, we're going to talk about, is data analytics right for you? The thing is, there's a ton of talk around data analytics, and with good reason. IBM rated it as having a 28% growth in the following years, which means there are going to be over 2,700,000 jobs coming available around the world for data analytics. And I don't know if you knew this, but most data analytics, the entry-level position can range anywhere from $35 to up to $70,000 depending on your qualifications and experience. So this is a very lucrative opportunity for anyone getting interested in data analytics. you got to be willing to work hard. Where can you learn the skills to become a data analyst? I'd say the best place is going to be at Eureka. They have 24-hour customer service, live instructors, so that way you can ask any questions you need to while you're learning. So you're never lost because they have really good support and service. The instructors are super helpful, and they want to make sure that you understand the concepts before they move on. I've seen great service by at Eureka. And now they're growing. They have over 615,000 learners who have been using their platform to learn coding skills and specifically data analytics. So if you're interested, go down and check out their link in the description below. That will help support this channel and it will cost you no extra. Number one, let's talk about who are you. Data analytics has a lot of mathematics, computer programming, statistical analysis, problem solving. So there's a lot that you're going to have to learn to be a data analyst. But is that your kind of vibe? Do you like sitting behind a computer? Do you like kind of mashing out code and enjoy some quiet time or even maybe some music? Do you like research? Do you like analyzing things? If you do, that's going to be the type of job you'll be doing as a data analyst. Another point is do you like analyzing different situations? Do you like analyzing facts and statistics? So for instance, say a company releases a new drug and they're going to send it to 20 different people. And those 20 people are going to have different reactions, different uh, responses to that drug. And so what you're going to want to find out is how effective is this drug? Is this drug dangerous? Um, what are the causes and effects from taking this drug? So that's what you'll do as a data analyst if you're in the medical field, is you'll bring that, pull together all that data, and then you'll deliver it to the client and say, okay, here's what I found out, here's what you need to do, or here are the problems. Do you like to work alone or do you like to work with people? Because as a data analyst, you'll probably be doing both. There's going to be a lot of time that you're going to be scrubbing through data, doing a lot of research, but then you're going to have to come together and collaborate and kind of share those details with a larger group of people so that they can give their insights and you guys can come up with a very true solution to the data. That's the thing about data. Truth is way more powerful than emotion, and that's what the data analyst does. He looks at the truth and he presents it. So if you answered yes to most of these things, then you're on the right track to becoming the proper candidate for a data analyst. Number two, what will you be doing as a data analyst? The day in the life of a data analyst starts with extracting data from a database. From there, you'll scrub through it, kind of look at it, see what's accurate, what's inaccurate, what is duplicated, and you're going to really come to a conclusion on what data is actually helpful. Then you'll take that data and analyze it, and come up with solutions and predictions with what the specific research you are holding is going to do for your client. For instance, let's say you have to understand how many people downloaded and are using an application in a specific city. So you'll extract all the data and you'll make sure that it's all accurate. And then you'll see who's using it, which age demographic, how long they're using it, where they're using it in the city. And then once you understand that, you can give that to your client and they can develop a better marketing solution for their app. As a data analyst, you're going to need four basic skills. That's mathematics, computer programming, knowing the tools of the trade, communication and presentation skills. The mathematics is because you're going to have a lot of tools that are going to do and work through these different solutions and analysis problems, but you still need to know at your base level what it's doing. Because if the machine doesn't read it correctly, you're still going to have to go through, scrub and analyze that data for yourself. And it's important to have very strong mathematical and statistical skills. The second skill you're going to have is computer programming. Whenever you are, you're drawing out data, you're going to be using programming languages in order to query data, in order to create automated systems to analyze the data and spit out solutions. So having computer programming languages is extremely powerful. The three computer programming languages that are in top priority for data analysts is Python, SQL, and R. Those are a great start. 
And as far as the mathematics is concerned, and the statistical analysis, you're going to have a firm grip on Microsoft Excel. Now the third skill is knowing the tools of the trade. And that's tools like Hadoop or OpenRefine, Tableau. What these will do is these will heighten your proficiency as a data analyst. So make sure you're all tuned up on the tools of the trade. And the fourth thing you're going to want to know how to do is communicate and present your findings with great accuracy and clear communication. The reason being is a lot of CEOs and heads of departments don't really know what you do as a data analyst. So if you come in with a whole bunch of jargon, that's not going to help them at all. In fact, they're going to look at you kind of cross-eyed because they really don't know what you're talking about. So you need to be able to break it down simply in order to explain it to somebody who is not an expert in the industry. So become a generalist in your knowledge. I mean, it's like when I try and explain these videos to you. I don't go into all the deep intricacies of what it means to be a data analyst because you're just interested in becoming one. So I deal with the basics. And then from there, I lead you to courses where you can get completely trained on this content. If I tried to explain everything, you would get bored and leave in a moment. But I just explain the basics so that way you can get interested. And if you're truly interested, you dive in and you learn more. That's the kind of presentation you want to give. You want to give the basics and you want to give the content, not all the extra fluff. In talking about learning, the best place to learn is at Eureka. With 24-hour service and live instructors, you're going to get the best education possible because you have somebody right there to ask questions with, somebody there to troubleshoot your misunderstandings with. They have over 600,000 satisfied customers and learners on their platform, and the number continues to grow every day. I mean, a video I filmed a while ago, it was 589,000, and then it was 610,000, and I believe now it's pushing 615,000 people. So head on over to Edureka and get educated for a data analyst. You can help support this channel with the link below, and that will be a huge help, and it'll keep these videos coming to keep you equipped to dominate your field in the future. I'm Benji Kaiser, and thanks for tuning in to this episode of Data Analytics. If you've yet to subscribe, I definitely recommend doing so because we release new videos six days a week, and you don't want to miss out on the latest reviews and job opportunities. Mm -hmm.